GG, well played. Hey, Connor, what's up, dude? It's fucking insane that we had a similar result, and yet I feel like your 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 presence on the map was so much greater, dude. Yeah, you really put us under some mighty stress, man. Well done, great performance. It was really fun to play as and against. I played against one of the most experienced Survivor Friends groups ever. Otstava, Hens, Lionek, and Eventic. These guys have a combined playtime of over 25,000 hours. What? We're going to be watching the match that I played against these guys as Huntress. I hope you guys enjoy. Let me know what you think. And let me know how you think I did. I thought I'd do a bit of a play-by-play -play commentary over the top of this. I won't talk a whole lot for it, but... Just enough for you guys to know what I was thinking during the time. I didn't really speak too much during the game. You know, hit bits here and there. Um, I decided to head to main building straight away right, and this. break this breakable wall. Not sure if this was the wisest idea in hindsight, but I was kind of just trying to get used to my surroundings a little bit. I saw scratch marks and ots quite early on, so I thought I'll try and loop around. Um, and it was quite obvious that from the beginning they were going to be looping and making full use of this main building, so I ended up... Kind of just leaving him, oh, letting him do his thing. That. One of the signs that these guys are super experienced is that you can tell that they're leaving very early from the generators as soon as they realize I'm coming towards them. And also pre-dropping pallets just to delay a bit of time, give themselves more distance. Sensible. I tried getting a hatchet on Lionek, but just, just missed. As you can see, I was kind of uh, not nervous at the beginning and needed to ease into it a little bit. I've never been in one of these nice, uh, league games, like tournament matches before. I got a nice hatchet onto Ots just then. Corrupt's gone. I love seeing the people react in chat. I really, really liked it. It was, it was so nice to see. I saw Nina le uh, leaving the gen. Got a gorgeous hit on her. Really, really helpful. Last mine. Oh. Nina! No! Okay, we're fine. Yeah, I was kind of hoping that I'd be able to find her up ahead now. Um, I didn't know how far away she'd gone. Obviously, Ots has been unhooked now, but one of the rules in the tournament is that we can't slug or tunnel. But I tried finding wow. Nina. Shit. Wasn't too sure where she'd gone, so I kind of had to lose that. Wasted quite a bit of time there. I think it was a bit of a mistake. I should have maintained map pressure and maybe gone back and found hens. Just while we've got a bit of downtime here, I thought I'd uh, run through the perks I've got. So I've got Barbecue and Chili, Iron Maiden, No Way Out, and Corrupt Intervention. Um, corrupt, just to slow the, the beginning of the game down a little bit. And No Way Out, to slow the end game that I felt like I would need against these guys. Barbecue and Chili for the auras. And also Iron Maiden, because, you know, for Huntress, you're going to be opening lockers quite a lot. It's just useful for me to be able to get some hatchets quicker. I was just trying to do anything I could to maintain a bit of map pressure. They got uh, a gen off the off the rip. Uh, oh dear. I felt myself slipping away a little bit. I needed to get some uh, some map pressure somewhere, somehow. Luckily, found some scratch marks. They were expecting me to run one side of the building. Mm, I think they uh, must have gone the wrong way. I hit Ots there. Got a lovely snipe on Ots there as well. Just to down him. I am technically slugging at this point, however, I am allowed to do this um, as the other person is in line of line of sight. I see Nina all the way over there and right. get an incredible Come snipe. Box. Don't have a flashlight, which in hindsight was very, very nice. Then ended up hooking Ots. He's the only person I've hooked, and I know that he's going to be on death hook once he gets unhooked, so he's in my best interest mm. to get killed, just to kind of slow the game down a bit and be a 3v1 situation. It would make life a lot easier for me. Map pressure is the key, especially against such experienced it's survivors. Enough, I, I really, really wanted to make sure that I applied map pressure, and make sure I gave them no opportunity to do the generator if I had the I'm chance to. I'm going to try and close it down. We'll go for the unhook. Uh, they'll go for the unhook. A lovely fake here, but then I missed the hatchet. <laughs> nice, needed that. Okay. 
If you are enjoying this kind of video, please be sure to leave a like. Don't forget to comment what your favourite moment was. Let me know how you think I did, and uh, subscribe if you're new. I'm going to hopefully be making more videos just like this one, so if you guys do enjoy it, then uh, be sure to let me know. And let me know if you have any other ideas for YouTube videos that you maybe want me to make. We might be getting this gen done in here. Hoping I could throw through there. I think I can, I just... At this point, there's only four generators left, and this they're rough. relatively close together, but... Yeah, we're struggling a little bit. They're playing very, very well. As you would expect, they are incredibly well, well managed. Done this. Very well coordinated. I catch Lionak off guard a little bit here, and again, I'm able to capitalize off it a little bit. Nice. I think he's got the flashlight, right? On hook here. At this point, I've got four hooks, and I need to get eight. We played against Otz's Doctor the round before as Survivor. So getting four more allows us to be on tie. You're going to take aggro, which is also sensible. Nice. Hen's playing that very well there. As a Huntress, I'm, I'm kind of knowing that that loop isn't really throwable. It's a very, very short loop, so I need to be pushing through it, and I'm glad he dropped it, really, because it wasted as little time as I could have allowed it to. Oh, Another lovely sniped. snipe. I realize it's Ots as well, and I want to close down the distance. I see him running away there. I should really be going for him to go down. However, Lionek ends up taking a hit here, and they drop Shack Pallet. Which really okay. threw me off a little bit, but in hindsight, I should have definitely gone for Ots and slowed the game down. I don't know if you can even get... Oh, shit. That's not... Fine. Lionek did very well to take the hit. I was really hoping I could get this snipe here, but I didn't align it very well. Very well. That was terrible. Ignore it. Okay. Relax, relax. I'm stressing out. <laughs> I'm telling myself to relax here. I'm starting to get a bit stressed out. But I do have No Way Out, which is a very, very strong endgame perk. Um, if you guys don't know what No Way Out is, it basically allows me uh, to block the exit gates once they've touched it for up to 60 seconds, depending on how many ho uh, people I've hooked. Nice! Let's go! Look over there. They've got to be getting a gen, a gen done, like, very shortly. I would imagine. They're resetting. It's very sensible. I'm fully expecting for the uh, last gen to pop. We'll head over here. I feel like this gen's nearly done. Hello, Ots. Realizing that Ots is over there trying to get that last gen done, I this think I can close him down play, but we're gonna do and it anyway. finally confirm this first kill that I've been wanting. I do a nice little fake there just to get him in line of sight. <laughs> he tries throwing the firecracker. <laughs> okay, and we get dead. the lovely M1. Ops dead, good. Yes. As I said, Ops dead, good. Love you, Ots. Right, can I get a cross map here? I don't think so. I think there's something in the way. Hatchets. Yeah, we'll get hatchets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Need two hooks. I was just explaining to myself I need two more hooks. No way out stacks. We've got three of them. I'm going to go for the... I think this is the play. Oh, there's scratch marks. Where have you gone? What I failed to do at this point in time is kind of understand that I would have actually benefited nice. from going for hens as he hasn't been hooked yet. 
dodge. Lionek tries to get in the way. Which again, very well played by him to try and okay. take a hit. <sighs> Exit gate's been triggered. Where have you run to? I wasn't entirely sure where uh, Lionek went, and I realized the aura on Hens, knowing he's injured. A nice hatchet there. I think a perf on a perfect day, that hatchet would have hit. I would have thrown it a little okay. bit farther to Exit the right. Gone. I need uh, I need a kill. I'm hoping he thinks I'm faking it. He might have just run off. I don't know. If I down Hens here, I win the game. This end game becomes a little bit frustrating. It's not great. This is a tough loop. I shouldn't I've be going in. I've got four hatchets left, and it's a very long main building loop. Very, that? very tough to play oh, against. Oh, no. Lionek leaves, and knowing that annotated blueprint is in, it allows uh, Hatch to spawn in. Oh, Hatch! No, I forgot! They left. Ah, shit. Annotated. Damn, man. That was so rough. <laughs> oh my days. <laughs> GG, well played. Holy.